Back in August of 2010, with the help of the Center for Climate Change Communication at George Mason University and Climate Central, we began a series called Climate Matters. It was an effort to educate you about how our climate was changing and how that was having an impact on our lives. The rise of carbon dioxide was giving rise to global temperatures. And we started one of our early segments looking at extreme heat and relating it to a pair of dice. You see, adding carbon dioxide to the atmosphere was like loading dice. What were the odds in 2010 of rolling snake eyes compared to what the temperature should be? Those odds turned out to be about the same as hitting 101 degrees during the summer. So back in 2010, the odds of hitting 101 degrees during the summer, on average about three days during the summer. But if we continue to increase carbon dioxide the way we were, by 2040, we could expect that average to increase to 10 days during the summer, and by 2070, 23 days on average of seeing 101 degrees. Now, that's the average. That says nothing about the range, which is pretty wide. It turns out that we've been working on that average ever since. Back in 2010, the average was three days. Here is a look at the number of 101 degree days each year since 1887 up to 2017. Notice it varies a lot. That's the range. Here's the average, and it's been increasing ever since. Back in 2010, it was three days. Now we're up to about four days on average during the summer. We can expect to see 101 degrees. But it turns out that that's not too surprising. Every decade since 1970 has been warmer than the previous decade. And this decade is warmer than the first decade of this century. In fact, the five hottest summers on record here in Columbia have been since 2010. Ironically, the same thing is happening globally. You see, it turns out that a small change in the average can mean a big change in the extremes. And we're starting to see more extreme heat. It's affecting a lot of things that are going on. It's affecting storms. It's affecting sea level rise. It's affecting the melting of the Arctic. Carbon dioxide continues to increase. When I started in television in 1975, the concentration of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere was 330 parts per million. That's not even on this graph. Just recently, we hit 415 parts per million. That's the highest concentration in the atmosphere in some three million years. The climate scientist Deek Arndt has said, weather throws the punches, but climate trains the boxer. Let me leave you with this final thought. We caused this to happen, not intentionally, but we need to recognize the reality of what is going on if we want to be the solution. For Climate Matters, I'm Jim Gandy.